In the early hours of December 4, 1969, Chicago police raided Illinois Black Panther Party chairman Fred Hampton's home and shot him to death. He was 21. More than 50 years after Chairman Hampton's assassination, director Shaka King's Judas and the Black Messiah, in theaters and streaming on HBO Max Now, is bringing Hampton's story to the big screen with the help of Daniel Kaluuya, as Hampton, and Lakeith Stanfield, as FBI informant William O'Neill, under the guidance of Hampton's son, Fred Hampton Jr. Viewers get a timely history lesson on how Hampton and the Chicago chapter of the Black Panther Party influenced the community and posed a threat to the FBI and J. Edgar Hoover, Martin Sheen, who became obsessed with bringing down the man he believed could be a black messiah. Though King says it was hard to get things 100% factual, because of the FBI's unreliable record keeping, he and Hampton Jr. walk USA Today through the historical details. In the summer of 1969, the police engaged in a shootout with Black Panther Party members which culminated in the arrest of several people and cops burning the building down. The scene in Judas and the Black Messiah, that shows everyone is silhouetted in a burned-out space, is based off a real photograph, says King, who tried to capture the devastation. The police were always trying to provoke the Panthers. King doesn't know the specifics about how the shootout started, but says police claim there was a sniper on the roof. But as you know, they lied incessantly, King says. It's very hard to make a movie about historical events when the history has been written by people who aren't biding truthful history. Hampton's autopsy revealed he had enough fentanyl in his system to knock a horse out, his son says, though it's unclear whether O'Neill, the FBI informant who infiltrated the Black Panther Party, had drugged him, as the movie suggests. King says he's convinced, it was O'Neill's doing, adding that Hampton would have died from the fentanyl even if police hadn't killed him. If he had been conscious then he could have defended himself, King says. People were incredibly afraid of this man because he was a mighty figure, so they went through every means to make sure they could render him as defenseless as possible during the assassination. In Judas and the Black Messiah, Hampton is imprisoned after he's accused of assaulting a good humor man and stealing $70 worth of ice cream. King says this really happened. In 1968, Nelson Suet testified in court that he was selling ice cream by a playground when a group of older teens demanded free ice cream. Moments later, Suet said, Hampton got out of a car, jumped into the ice cream truck and held him down while his crew unloaded ice cream from the vehicle. The Black Panther Party leader denied Suet's accusations and claimed he was denied a fair trial. Regardless, Hampton spent some time in prison.